And so I'll, I'll talk to you about several different stories today. The first one is Bronze Age plague. And so the Bronze Age was thousands of years ago, and researchers started unearthing these graves that they knew were from the Bronze Age. They could date these, these skeletons based off several lines of evidence. And they knew they were very, very old. And one of the questions they were asking is, why did humans mig migrate so um, extensively during this period? They knew there was these mass migrations throughout Europe. And so the researchers were wondering, well, was there some in big infectious disease incident where they had to flee? You know, maybe there was too much inbreeding within a population they had to like branch out. So the researchers were really interested in, can we from the DNA determine why these migrations happen? Well, within their studies, they unearthed 101 um, skeletons. So seven of these skeletons ended up being positive for something that was plague-like. So we could run it through our pipeline, we could look at the genetic code, and we could place it into that tree model to see, well, how is it related to the plague that we know to exist today? So kind of not surprisingly, the Bronze Age is in between all the plague that we can see today and the nearest ancestor, which is about, you know, from 52,000 BC. So to some extent, this wasn't that surprising. But as we start looking at the DNA, we can start to answer other questions as well. So just looking at the DNA, we, can, we, we believe that the, the uh, plague was not capable of colonizing fleas. So the transmission cycle that I discussed earlier is not something that we think this Bronze Age plague could do. So how did it infect people? And the answer is, we're not sure yet. And we're hoping to answer that with more lines of evidence and, and improved technology.